Hey folks, it's Brother Brian back with you again. Uh, finally, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I, uh, I had to have back surgery, severe major emergency back surgery. I've got a scar about a foot long on my back. Um, that happened on June 3rd uh, that I had the surgery. And uh, still trying to recuperate. Um, so please keep me in your prayers, folks. Uh, I did go see the doctor. He said I was going in reverse instead of forward. Um, but, you know, folks, we serve a Jesus that never fails, that always heals. Like Peter tells us, by his stripes, you're healed. Tells us right here. First Peter, chapter 2, verse 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unrighteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If I if I can get people out there to agree with me, give me a hallelujah. Amen. Even though I can't hear you, but we know we're in agreement with it. But let's just go ahead and go into prayer uh, before I go into my message, okay? Father God, I come into prayer, Lord, and I ask you, Jesus, that each and everything that comes out of my mouth, Lord, that is a, it is ordained by you. It's for your wisdom, knowledge, guidance, understanding, direction of path, righteousness, faithfulness, faith. And Lord, the anointment of the baptism of the Holy Ghost with fire, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, the evidence of interpretation, discernment, and most of all, the evidence of prophecy, Father God. Miracles and healing. Lord, I pray that anyone out there that needs a special, special, special prayer, Father God, for whatever the situation may, may be, Lord, they may be praying for a, more spiritual blessings added unto them, or maybe a financial blessing. Or a healing blessing. Whatever the case may be, Father God, I pray that this video will reach out and it will touch them, snatch them, grab a hold of them, and hallelujah, they'll feel, Father God, your power, your voice. And Lord, that it will touch them from every hair on the top of their head that is numbered by you, all the way to the soles of their feet, to the tips of their toes, to the backs of their heels, to the tips of their fingers, from the fronts of them, through them to their backs, and from their backs, through them to the front, Father God. Lord, touch them in each and every single way, Father God, I pray, Lord. Lord, I pray your Holy Ghost moves in each and every one of us, Lord. I pray, Father God, as I sit here and I do this message, that it does cling to someone's heart. It clings to someone's soul, their mind, and their body, Father God, and it helps them, Lord. Lord, I pray... That each and every one asks that you completely forgive them of their sins and iniquities. And they ask that you completely forgive them of their sins and iniquities that they may be doing or have done and not aware of or thought. I ask, Father God, that they pray that you purge, circumcise, cleanse, and purify and sanctify their hearts, their minds, their souls, and their bodies. Lord, with each and everything that is said, Lord, I thank you for your guidance and direction of path on me and my video. And I pray that it does help someone. Father God, you are loving, merciful, kind, and forgiving. Lord, you, your love and salvation and grace and grace and beautiful, beautiful grace endureth forever and ever and ever 
and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive our trespasses as we forgive our trespassers. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the honor and your love, mercy, salvation, and grace endureth forever and ever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, folks. Folks, I know uh, when you say the Lord's Prayer, I know the trespassing part isn't in that. It's on down a couple verses. But I always add that in there. Um, I'm not... Uh, the Bible tells you do not add or take away from Jesus' word. And I'm not adding or taking away from because that is a couple verses down. I just added in there. Um, and I thank him daily for his salvation and grace and his love and mercy. I know it's not in that verse, but it's all through the Bible. So I add that in there as well. Um, you always want to be thankful for those things, folks. Folks, I, there's quite a few things I like to discuss uh, you know, uh, we have these preachers out here that preach uh, no division. They want unity in their churches. Um, our church needs to unite, not be divided and, and everything. And that is correct. Every church needs to be united. We all serve one God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're not serving the only true God, the only Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, then something's wrong with you. If you go to a church and they don't preach that, that Jesus Christ died for your sins and arose three days later, get out quickly. If they the read from different... Verses of different Bibles, you may want to get out from there. Because there's a lot of them that do sit there and will read from the ESV, will read from the NASB, the NIV, uh, NKJV, uh, different Bibles. No. No, you can't mix God's word like that. Strictly by the King James Version Bible. 